it's like we all went in the same place. I walked in my room while I was playing the beats with them. And so it was like, you know, um, where you from? You know what I'm saying? Like, your shit hard. Like, where you from? Like, man, I'm from Baton Rouge. Like, Baton Rouge? Like, yeah. I'm from Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? Straight <laughs> up. Put it up. Hey, man, so hey, man. Hey, man. We back again. Trey 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 he be looking out with all the incense and everything. I gotta go ahead and like my incense and get the mood right. Y'all already know. Straight like that. Man, Trey, talk to me, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, of course. Trey works by Trey. Bad News, Louisiana, 225, born and raised. Yeah, Louisiana stand up. Oh, yeah. Been doing this music thing for a while. I just started investing in myself more about it. I got more serious. Everybody was like, man, you can get back on the beats. Your beats hard. I ain't had a, the motivation to, you know what I'm saying, show my beats with the real, but now I'm here with you. So, yeah. Um, full pledge with full throttle. Straight up. Yeah. Ain't turning back. Ain't, ain't no turning back. Nah, it's, it's too late because you late. in it. <laughs> you <laughs> in it. What you gonna do now? You in it. Yeah. You all the way in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when, when did you really realize that, like, making beats was your thing? Uh, I could say when, uh, I had a bad news artist been on my track. Um, it was uh, this guy named Jungle Music Larry. He from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And he hopped on my track and just turned me up because he verified on Instagram. So okay. He first person to hop on one of my tracks, he just turned me up. And that was the thing. I've been having people reach out. And his name's been golden since then. Talk about that feeling, like, you know, accomplishing that first of all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, getting that collaboration with him done, and then the feeling of people just like, reaching out. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, uh, man. It was, talk about the emotions of that. It was, it was, it was emotional. <laughs> Cause it's like, man, I made that. You yeah, know what I'm saying I made that, and it was coming from not having the motivation to, you know, reach out to artists and different things, and then to have them just get on my track and then just turn me up like that. Cause I'm gonna say he really turned me up. Yeah, like. I can't lie, but dude turned me up. So, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. It's, it's a wonderful feeling to uh, have a good placement. From a, and then from a verified artist at that, mm -hmm. your first real, like, actual placement, or well, actual track that really puts you out there from a verified artist, not just nobody that's, you know, on a, on a, on a upper right square verification. I right. already had one come at me. Exactly. So, you know, and that, that was crazy. Good boost. Yeah. I can dig it. So, your boys is with you. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I mean, talk to me, y'all. Y'all, what y'all be doing in the studio? Y'all be helping it? What y'all be doing? I'm making music. I'm yeah. an artist myself. Okay. Yeah, yes. I'm in there. Really? I got it. I'm still on the team, too. Okay, talk yeah. a little bit about that. So, yeah, it's, uh, of course, I call myself Works by Trey, so I'm mm -hmm. calling it the Works family. Okay. So, yeah, I got it. And this is my actual blood brother. So, yeah. okay. I'm investing, you know, in him mm -hmm. while I'm still networking, making my moves. Because if I make it, they all make it. Exactly. So, that's, yeah. that's, the, that's the mindset. That's what the mindset's supposed to be. So, yeah. So, yeah. he's 17 years old. Give him the work you know, Give him the work you Give him the work you Say, we got it all like it, but man, we still are true. Work, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And still, still now, by us having jobs and everything, man, we still out here. Networking. Right. Like, that ain't stopping nothing. Right, because you gotta go get it. Yeah, if you if you wanna be in this field, you gotta go get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's about networking, getting out there, letting the people see your face because if they don't see it, then how they gonna know? Exactly, right. Then we got the code over here. I make beats too. Yeah. Okay. I've only been doing it for about two years though, so I'm hard though. I'm still still I'm coming. I can oh, I'm, they gonna know me soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not true. Yeah, yeah. I I made him do actually working. Okay. And he told me he, he he told me he made beats and, and everything, so, you know. Uh, then you like, let me hit one of your beats or whatever. Yeah. And I was, yeah, you let me hit one of your beats. And I was like, we collab, made a couple yeah. at work. Okay. <laughs> After a while, I told him, dude, I'm gonna turn you into a studio. fucking monster. Yeah. I'm gonna push you in the studio, I'm gonna turn you into a fucking monster. Here we is. Yeah, here we is. That's what's do up. Hard, do hard. This is beautiful. This is giving me chills. I love this. <laughs> I love unity, like, for 
for real. It means so much more. You know everybody eats. Right? Everybody exactly, eats. and that's what it's about because there's enough money out here for everybody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Boss up and go get it. Oh, yeah, and I got I got a couple more, you know, young soldiers in line. They just couldn't make it out. Right, you know? right, for sure. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, we would love to have a studio pool. Why not? Know, right, you know what right, me? Right. Me? Hey, it is what it is the next time you know. Yeah, for sure, most good. Heck yeah. yeah. So I wanna ask, what do you guys um when making beats, what do you guys enjoy the most as far as like uh digital sounds? Do you like to go make your own sounds? Um talk talk to me a little bit about when you make your beats. Okay, yeah. It just it's all it just all depends on how I'm feeling mm -hmm. that day with. I mean, I like I like sampling, but that ain't my that ain't my thing. Yeah. I just create my own sound, but I can sample too. And so can he? He could do just about everything I can do. Yeah. Like Sometimes that. you just hear like a certain song, and you like I gotta sample that. Mm -hmm. But it's great when you can like come up with an original melody and like yeah. turn it into a bang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, ain't no better feeling than that. Oh, good. What kind of sounds do you guys like working with? Definitely uh, pianos. Pianos. Show. Pianos, guitar. Um, but that's me. I like, I, me personally, I like weird ambient type sounds. Okay. Like yeah. something that you hear and you like, I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. That's hard that's to figure out. Yeah. He, working with him a lot, he adapted me to doing that and helping me create my own sound and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's just like we help, we all help each other. Like, and, uh, Man, I wish D-Rock could have came, bro. But man, shout out D-Rock. Shout out to D-Rock. <laughs> shout out to D-Rock. Shout yeah. out to Joe. Shout out to Chris. Chris Travis. Uh, shout out to my nigga DeWan. DeWan. Shout out to Sid. Sidney. DJ. DJ. Yeah. And, and Drake. Yeah. Run it up. Yeah, everybody, you know. Straight up. Oh, and can you get, can you get, uh, Sambo 9, bro. I ain't gonna forget you, bro. I ain't gonna forget you. Shit. Uh, yeah, all bro. right. So I want y'all to um, let me know what it's like growing up in Baton Rouge. Uh, yeah, man, growing up in Baton, uh, growing up there is just it's no unity. That's one thing, it's no unity. So with no unity being there, what influenced y'all to to, to 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 come together so much? Is that it's, yeah, the, it's the reason to, or being that be different? And yeah. Then by me liking, it, I, I always did like to travel back and forth to Houston. So, um, I like sauce walking. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like sauce walking, I seen this dude, he brought a whole gang of niggas together, like, and he's steady signing people. Mm -hmm. This dude got a militia. So, I, <laughs> said, I said, man, ain't nobody bad who was doing that, so I want to try to do this shit, bro. Straight up. And then, this motivation. hearing everybody's story that I didn't, you know, then put on my, in my circle and everything, mm -hmm. just, this foundation on my story, like, we all got some sad stories, so, I try to motivate them every day to, you know, stay on that grind. Like, just recently, that's before you even decided to come out here with us. This man, he was going through a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't like it. I don't like to see my people down. Straight so up. I'm going to do what I can to uplift the spirits. So I'm like, you need to come out here to Houston with me. And you need to, you, need to, you know, get away. You need Straight to, up. Yeah, see Different environment. Yeah, different yep. environment, bro. Because Baton Rouge is, I mean, I love my, my, I love my city, but that's... Mm -hmm. it. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. Yeah. In order to shine, you gotta get yeah, out yeah. and come back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And get the people, you know, what you can. You don't gotta give them all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what people gotta understand. Yeah. Just because I made it, that's the motivation for you to make it. Thanks, you know man. what I'm saying? Sure. I could push the elevator back down, but if you ain't ready to come up, yeah. it ain't nothing I can do. Ain't nothing I can do. You gotta be on full players like I am. Like, y'all got to have the same mindset with this shit. Yeah. We all want to get paid, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, right now, is there any artist that you want, would love to work with? Uh, it was, I ain't gonna, it was Sauce Walker, but I got a track with him. He got on okay. uh, a couple of my beats. And his, uh, so, what was that like? Talk talk about that experience. Man, man beating Sauce Walker. Because I know Sauce Walker, and he up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sauce Walker's so funny. Yeah, he is. He's like, hilarious. <laughs> he is, you know, like, I was just sitting in the studio, man. He was just talking his shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just talking his shit. But he, he was just like, you know what I'm saying? He booked with me, though. So I was playing on my beats. And then how I even came apart of even finding out what a studio was, I did my research. Most people wouldn't do that. Come on. I talk did, about I it. I did my research. So talk about it. 
they go to 281 Studio. So I'm like, man, let me go see where it's at. You know what I'm saying? I'm going on that page. So I booked the session mm-hmm. for like three hours. And I, 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 in my mindset, I was like, man, I ain't even going up there and make I'm just going to see these niggas so I can network. Mm-hmm. Boom. I pulled up there. I ain't seen nobody there at first. So, um, TSL paid two times, you know what I'm saying? He was in the engineering booth over here. The way it happened when I walked in the studio, first of all, it was, I was just like, damn, it's a gang of niggas in here. Then I was by myself, but, mm-hmm. you know, it's a gang of niggas in here, but that's the first person I walked up to. And he was actually in a session with one of Sauce Walker artists, but he told me to come back. Yeah. So I came back at like two o'clock in the morning or whatever. So when I came back, they all was lined up and they all was good. Mm-hmm. So they all, uh, we all went in the studio or whatever, and I just got to uh, playing my beats. And uh, they all just like, Walked in my room because they all were in the same. We all were in the same place. So I walked in my room while I was playing the beats or whatever. And so it was like, you know, um, where you from? You know what I'm saying? Like, your shit hard. Like, where you from? Like, man, I'm from Baton Rouge. Like, Baton mm-hmm. Rouge. Like, yeah, I'm from Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, put it up. So the whole gang in there, whatever. So um, I had told him like, why the, the real reason why I had came and booked the session? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I'm like, bro, I booked the session. Hope y'all niggas was here. He was paid. And man, when I when it suddenly after that, it was like, damn, like they just can't they can stop talking about it. They mm-hmm. went to each other telling like, man, this nigga, he ain't even with us. I thought this nigga was driven with us, he ain't even with us, but yeah. this nigga come all the way from Because you put yourself in yeah. that position. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this nigga booked the session to come link up with us. Man, I respect that shit. And then I just like another reason why I'm out here now is not just to meet up with y'all, but you know, I had did a uh, a collab with J-Red. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So me and J-Red was in the uh, studio and then once again, another one of the TSL people came, you know, in the building or whatever. He's like, bro, I remember you, dude. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I respect this nigga, bro. He, he, he's, he invested in himself, bro. So I was gonna love this nigga, bro. So they, they already planning on putting me down. They just want to get the okay from Sauce. Straight then, up. It's up. Like, yeah, it's up from love. That's respect, man. Yeah. And I respect you, I swear. Um, when you said, like, like when we talked on the internet, yep. you know what I'm saying? When I was like, where you from? He was like, Van Rooks. And I was like, okay, so what you want to do? You want us to travel to you and you come here? And he was like, I'm coming there. Yep. And I'm like, well, shoot, come on. Yeah, really it sets you apart, you feel me? Yep. Like, I can't express that enough. Keep doing that. Going after what you want, yep. no matter who it is, because you're manifesting that. Yeah. You know what yep. I'm saying? You put that in line, you, that alignment, you walking in. Yeah, yep. You know what I'm saying? You're not making no blank trips. Mm-hmm. You're not just coming to hang out. You're coming to put your money in the right places never. and watching it mm-hmm. grow. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what it's about. And yeah. it just, <laughs> like, Trey, I, I, like, for real, I don't really get chills too much, but this is yeah, lovely, yeah, man, yeah, for real. Yeah. I love the positive energy, like, for real. Um, talk about some of the artists that you grew up listening to and some of the producers you grew up listening to. All right, producers. Um... Let's start off with man, Manny Bridge. Okay, I could, I should have known that. The I should have known yeah, that. Go, <laughs> he is the south. He is the south. But I like, I like a lot of producers, man. Dr. Dre, uh, 808. I like the whole 808 mafia. Okay. Of course, I like the TSF. Um, man, what's some other niggas with me? Like, bro, Shorty right? Reeves, they Shorty Reeves, they told me. Smith. Yeah, I was about to say yeah, that. Man, it's, it's a lot of producers. Like I'm, I'm versatile, so I'm just listening to everybody. You mm-hmm. know, as far as artists and everything, um, who's the baby? Uh, who I listen to nowadays? Um, of course, I was never. Yeah. Uh, Juice World. Uh, and got this cat named Dirty Deep Grime. I listen to him. Okay. Um, Dolph, Dolph P. Glock. Yeah. Okay. This guy here, <laughs> I listen to a lot of his music. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you know, I'm just man. I'm open. I'm open minded to you know a lot. You know. So, so, it don't so if there's an artist right now ready to work with you, how do they reach out to Trey to work with Trey? Oh, Instagram. I, I'm willing to work with anybody as long as you you come with your with your shit straight. And, work. and I'm not expensive. I'm not high. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna work with you. Mm-hmm. I'm working with whatever you, whatever you come with, I'm gonna work with you because I believe in helping everybody out. Like shit, you give me, even in, like, you give me uh, what I ask for and we come up with a good, you know, solution of what, what we're gonna do. Man, I'm gonna give you more than what you pay for. Thanks. 
most definitely. I'm gonna give you more than what you pay for. Thanks. And I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna keep in touch with you too, because I like building relationships with people. I'm gonna keep in touch with you. And that's that's so important. And like, can you elaborate on how important that is and oh, how important you believe that is? It is very important that you keep a, a relationship with anybody that you do business with, because you never know, they might have something that you need. You know what I'm saying? You can always, just like, now we, we, we this, is, this is us bonding, you know what I'm saying? For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I might be out, I might be out in, uh, in Texas again, I might hit you up and not even on no business stuff, be like, man, come play. Right. What you up to, man? Let's go, let's go. Push up. Let's smoke, chill or something. Right. You know oh, I'm at the studio, man. Push yeah, up. I'm just up. making beats. Yeah, just pull up. Come on, push up. It's, it's just always good because you never know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you never know that that might help somebody. Somebody might be depressed or anything. That might just mean a lot to somebody just by you checking up on them. Because that's what I do. Right. I check up on people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always about the money, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It ain't always about the money. Yeah, that's, that's all good and gold and everything. Like, I'm just, it's deeper than that. Yeah, it's deeper than that with me. Like I got, I got a golden heart. I was mm-hmm. really different. You know what I'm saying? Got you. So between you two, if I gave you a bag of pennies, some sand, and a pen, could y'all make me a beat? Fucking right. Bag of pennies, sand, a pen. Ah! Right. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm hey, that that would be that would that would be great. That would be good. <laughs> All right, now man, we back. I got on the sand. That, hey, that's sand from New Mexico. I don't, hey, I don't know if they want to pour it in the glass or not, but let them do their thing. I'm gonna put these uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go and put these right, th- these coins in this bag. You know. <laughs> I like the challenge. You like a challenge? All right, we're going to see. We're going to see what they come up with. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Loose change, loose change, loose change. Logic Pro, all of the other ones, bro. 
shit. I mean, I, I use Logic Pro to like record vocals and stuff like that. But yeah. I didn't chop up the sample, but like, boys, anything is FL, but I don't know, let yeah, that's, that's just like the PS4 yeah. but I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. I mean, it's 20 in right. yeah. It's all in what, what works for you. Mm-hmm. That's what matters, you know what I'm saying? They be going in on each other. Yeah, they, they be tripping. Who yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck um, motherfucker able to do that? Yeah. Find out what works best for you, mm-hmm. what program, whatever you want to use, and just work that shit. Go, go, go. Okay. Ain't nothing really better than that. It's all in your skills. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep, so, and that's even in the real world. That's even in the real world, like, yeah. all on your skills yeah. and the guy. Yeah. It could be, I started making beats on my phone with GarageBand. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. I'm like, I'm at a wow, for real. Like, <laughs> even here, he was like, for real. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting outside of my viewers recording songs, like, like hey, oh, oh, my God. <laughs>
Switch your style up. Like, yeah. Make your music time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. For sure. Because it's all art. Yeah. Art is subjective. For sure. There's no one way to do it. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> Y'all heard your first vision for production, sure you be exact. Yeah. Y'all sign out for me. Works by Trey. The Works family. Pretty verse. I'm hope. Fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> bless, bless. Appreciate y'all. Hey, Chibata, 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 Chibata. Y'all thought we was gone, did y'all? Nah. Definitely make sure y'all shop, shop ShibataClothing.com. They definitely sponsored the shirt today. And shout out to D Keys, Spiritual Push Man, for the incense. Y'all know it. We out. Vision Bow. Ah. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!